This is the best one play touchdown formula in Madden 22. And here's how you can actually score a touchdown against every single defense in the entire game. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. My name's Cody, and I upload Madden videos that can help you get better. Every day, we upload a tip video that can help you get better either on the offensive side of the ball or the defensive side of the ball. And in this video, we are in the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook. We're going to be talking about the PA boot over post patch and why this is the best bomb concept in the entire game. Now, again, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you want to get my bunch tight end ebook, I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can get that ebook for just 15 bucks. Also wanted to let you know, though, that if you want to get access to every single ebook that I release in the course of Madden 22 season, be sure to sign up for my Patreon. By signing up for Patreon, it's just $10 a month, and as long as your subscription is active, you'll not only get access to every ebook that I've already released in Madden 22, which is over 13 offensive and defensive guides, but you'll also get instant access to any ebook or any updates that I do while your subscription is active. So it's a great value for just $10 a month. You're going to be able to get access to literally every single thing that i produce so i'm really really excited to launch that out so if you want to get access to that again sign up for that i'm going to put a link of that in the description below but let's go through this bomb concept and we're going to start with the best coverage at least in my personal opinion in madden 22 and that is the cover four drop because the inside quarter zones in this game are really difficult to deal with we're going to show you how to do it in this video the play is pa boot over and the setup is actually really simple you just want to make sure that you're on the right hash to do this if you're on the left hash, you would just simply flip your formation. Um, you just want your bunch or your three wide receivers to be to the wide side of the field. All we're going to do is we're going to slide protect to the right. We're going to block our tight end. We're going to streak our slot, and we're going to slant our inside slot. So you see here, this is what the setup looks like. This is the cover four drop. This is why I absolutely love uh, the bunch tight end. You see here, if you got a good quarterback like Rodgers, you can easily make that throw. And as you can see, we're going to be able to beat the cover four defense over the top for a one play score. Now I'm going to go to America's defense, Mike Blitz 3, the Mike Blitz 3 meta defense that pretty much everybody uses at some point in their Madden career. This is how to bomb the most called defense in Madden 22. The exact same setup, nothing changes for the quarterback, nothing changes for the receivers, and you're going to see that the result doesn't change at all. In fact, it's probably even more open. As you can see, it just absolutely torches the Mike Blitz 3. Now what most players are going to do is, and they're going to tell you that if you get bombed out of Mike Blitz 3, one of the best little tricks that you can do uh, to be able to make your coverage a little bit more effective is to put both of your outside cornerbacks in deep halves. By doing that, what you're going to do is you're going to make your coverage a little bit safer. The problem is against this specific bomb, you're not going to actually do anything to help you. As you can see right here, we're still able to get over the top of the coverage for an absolute bomb against that Mike Blitz 3. So we've been able to bomb cover 4 drop, cover 3, and cover 3 invert. And now we're going to show you how to bomb the Tampa 2. Now the Tampa 2 is one of the most uh, popular defenses, especially in Madden 22, uh, because especially pre-patch, because you didn't get as bombed against cover 2. What you're going to see here is this is one of the best cover 2 bombs. Uh, in the entire game that time I actually played fairly well Richard Sherman got back on that ball uh, I think we got bumped up let me try that one more time and show you how this works against the Tampa 2 so again we're just going to go with a basic Tampa 2 call and what you should see here is this deep half should glitch out that's one of the main reasons why uh, I like to roll out as you can see Devonte Adams able to make a play. Now, if you ever find yourself running into any kind of problem with Tampa 2 whatsoever, here's a little adjustment to this bomb that you can make that's going to make it even better. All we're going to do is put the running back on a wheel route, and then everything else is pretty much going to stay the same. I like to take circle and either put him on a hitch or put him on an out route. And what you're going to see here, if you do those adjustments, you're going to see that this deep half is going to hang down a lot more. It's going to allow this to be much more open against the cover two in the big picture of things. So as you can see, we're able to bomb cover four, cover three, cover two, cover three, invert. And then now I'm going to show you how to bomb cover two if they were to do one of the most patented adjustments out of a cover two to make it more safe. And that is to take the middle linebacker and to put him into the deep middle third. So you're going to see here, we're going to use that same setup that I just showed you, just that right there, real simple. Use that wheel route to hold the deep half. And what you're going to see is that deep half is not going to be able to get back. The middle third out, it gets outrun by the streak. And we're able to bomb the cover two defense over the top 
for a one play touchdown. So we're able to bomb cover two, able to bomb cover three, Inbert, able to bomb cover two if the if you, the middle linebacker goes to the deep third, able to bomb cover four drop. And now I'm going to show you how to bomb the uh, cover four match coverage, which is one of the better coverages in the entire game. In fact, it's one of my personal favorite coverages to run. And you're going to see that this coverage shell is not going to be sound against this bomb. So as you can see here, here's our original setup. All we're going to do, roll out of the pocket. And what you're going to see is that square receiver is going to get over the top. That time Murphy Butling actually caught him. And that's more of a product of his speed than it is the actual coverage working in Mutt because everybody's going to be similar rated and you're not going to have super slow receivers out there. You should be able to bomb this coverage. But let me show it to you one more time and show you how this works. Again, there I threw it a little bit too late. But let me show you here again when he makes that cut just pass lead that to the hard to the right side and as you can see you get over the top of the coverage out of the cover four match you're also going to be able to do this if for example they want to go to something like a cover two man that's essentially the way we want to bomb this coverage is as if they were running um cover two on us so you see here we go with our cover two setup looks just like this and what you're going to notice here is that this square receiver, especially Devon, someone like Devontae Adams, typically will get over the top of Richard Sherman. For whatever reason, Richard Sherman is actually hanging onto that in the man coverage. But for the most part, you're going to find that this actually does a really good job. So let me show that one more time, and then uh, we'll move on to cover zero coverage and cover one, which are much, much easier uh, coverages to bomb. So again, you're going to see here, I'm just going to go back to that simple setup just like so. And what we should see is that this deep half should dumb out because of this wheel route. So we're just going to pass like that up. Right there, Richard Sherman actually got back on the ball fairly decently. I'll show you one other adjustment that you can do against the cover two man, and then we'll go on to the cover one. Cover two man, by and large, probably the best defense because it's the safest. It's got the most to lose, uh, or it's got the most, uh, you know, kind of safe coverage, if you will. Uh, but for the most part, obviously, honestly, we'll bomb this a lot more. Um, and you see here, pass lead that up and for whatever reason murphy butlin's speed's kind of keeping him up but as long as you beat the man coverage with the original setup you're going to be able to bomb this coverage uh, now i want to spend a few minutes talking about the cover one um, so with cover one again it's more it's more of what we just talked about it's the ability of that player to beat man coverage so i like to have route tech and deep out a lead on him for whatever reason you're seeing Devontae Adams because it's because his speed is so slow Murphy Butling's able to catch up because he's got significantly higher speed and regs. Whereas in Mutt, you're not going to have that as much. And the reason why is because of the fact that the players are all going to be about the same speed. So that's just something that you need to kind of tuck away when I'm showing these man bombs. It's not quite as good as they could be uh, or as they probably will be in Mutt. You're going to get them a lot more open. But again, here you see there's that cover one. And again, you see Murphy Butlin's speed is able to catch him up. So, you know, with man coverage, it's a little bit speed reliant. You need a fast guy there. And so Devontae Adams, for whatever reason, regs, not going to be the guy. But um, I will say, like in regs in game mode, you know, Devontae Adams does play significantly better than he does in practice mode. So that's just something to kind of keep, you know, in your in your back pocket. But I'm telling you right now in mud, if you put, um, you know, Keyshawn Johnson there, Robbie Anderson, any of those guys, even Jerry Rice, they're going to beat that coverage over the top. Trust me, I've ran it a million times. Um, here, I want to show you one more time. This bomb just absolutely nukes cover three, cover four, uh, cover two, all of that stuff. So, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn the rest of the bunch tight end offense, I would really encourage you. I do have a link to the full bunch tight end ebook in the description. But, guys, I would really encourage you to sign up for my Patreon. By joining the Patreon membership for just $10 a month, you're going to get instant access to every ebook that I've already released, which is 13 ebooks in total. And then you're also going to get instant access to any of the upgrades that i do any of the exclusive tips that i do and any of the new offensive or defensive guides that i release while your subscription is active i would really really encourage you to sign up for the patreon so i'm gonna put a link to that down in the description below thanks for watching the video and we will see you guys over at the patreon page